Hi, I'm Sherry Davidson with Davidson Realty, and I'm thrilled to be here at the Wheaton Model with Matt Roberts from Riverside Homes. And he's going to tell us a little bit about their construction process and their design today. Matt? Well, when we created this company, obviously we wanted to set ourselves apart a little bit. So uh, we started with doing some higher design features. We do 10-foot ceilings on the first floor standard and 9-foot ceilings on the second floor standard. We do smooth walls and knock down ceilings. And one thing that really sets us apart is we will customize. We are a custom builder uh, working in a community with non-custom builders. And that's one thing that we offer. You can meet with the owners. We'll sit down with you and, and go through your plan, add, or we'll create a new plan for you. Um, so that's, I think, one of the advantages that we have. Matt, if I were to buy a home from Riverside Homes, how would the construction process work? Well, one thing in my experience is that the one thing that angers buyers the most or makes an unhappy buyer is a lack of communication or a lack of being part of the process. So we feel that the buyer needs to be part of the process throughout, especially that's part of the customization that we offer. So when you start, uh, you obviously meet with our sales agent. Um, and then you go through a home design where you have four hours to meet with a professional degree designer um, and pick out the selections for the interior of your home. And then as we start the process, we will have a pre-construction meeting with you before we actually break ground. Um, that way we can review all the paperwork to make sure that we're on the same page and we're building what you bought. Uh, then we call you weekly throughout the whole process to make sure that we communicate with you and answer any questions. Uh, we will then have a pre-drywall meeting with you. So before we cover anything up, we go back through the house to make sure that any electrical options, HVAC requests, anything specific is in the right place before we go ahead and cover up with sheetrock. Um, then one thing that we do that's a little different is we have contracted with a third-party warranty company. So when we get towards the end of your home, you will meet with them and do a walkthrough. So it's an unbiased third-party opinion to walk through the house, do the orientation with you, explain the features of the home, and then if you see an issue or a defect, they'll note it, and then we take care of it. And then we'll meet with you again the day of closing to rewalk the home, make sure that you are satisfied, um, and then you go to closing. Then after you close, uh, which is to me one of the most important parts, and that's why we have contracted with a third party professional company that all they do is warrant new homes. So they will come and meet with you two months after you move in, and then they meet with you again 11 months after you move in to take care of any issues that are warrantable and make sure you're satisfied. Okay, so we're here to talk about the energy efficiency that Riverside has designed into our homes to try to set ourselves apart. With the current buyer, it is a very hot topic to have an energy efficient home so you get bang for your buck as in your utility bills. Um, what we've done is we've upgraded our insulation. We do R13 and R19 in the walls and R38 in the ceiling standing. Uh, we install vinyl low E windows. Um, we upgraded our HVAC system to a 15 sear uh, standard with a fresh air intake. We also have contracted with a third party HERS rater, that's Home Energy Rating Service. Um, he comes in twice during the home, once in the insulation stage to check the insulation and make sure that it is done correctly. He checks all of the ductwork and then he comes back at the end of the home and he does what they call a uh, blower door test and checks how tight the house was actually built. And then he'll come back and give you a rating on your, how your house was built uh, as far as energy goes. Generally our houses come in 30, at least 30% better than a standard built home. Okay, so we're here to talk a little bit about moisture intrusion. That is, as a builder, one of my pet peeves living in Florida where it is so wet with rain and then obviously the moisture that can come from inside of the house. I take that as a, a very big issue that we need to take care of as a builder. So one of the things that we do differently, as you can see, there's no sheetrock where the shower is going to go. We do not have our sheetrock company hang anything in this location in the wet areas. And we leave that up to our tile company who comes in, they actually felt directly onto the studs in a shiplap pattern, and then they put the Durock up, which is the backer for the tile, and then they seal it 
install the tile, and that one company is responsible for the moisture intrusion. This way we don't have two different companies trying to come together to get one of the wettest areas in the house sealed from water getting into the walls. The other thing that we do a little differently is on the outside of the home with the stucco, we do not use the felt back lath. We separate our felt and our lath, so we use a house wrap for a moisture barrier, and then we felt the house again in a shiplap pattern, and then we come back with a lath to come on top. And then after the stucco, we use a two coat paint system to make sure that we have done our best to seal this house from the elements outside.